Hey guys, Coach Lou here, just back from a quick jog with the dog and I've been thinking about something while I was out running. I want to get it up here on a video. I've got the little guy here. Are you going to come say hello quickly? Hello! Come on the camera. Hello. Hi, go be nice and quiet. Yes. Got the little guy here. So you might hear him rumbling in the background. School holidays, eh? What I want to talk about is something I get really passionate about is why you need to keep away from pills and fad diets. Something I speak to women quite a lot about and I get passionate about it because I'm a genuine believer in you should only put in your body what your body needs. Um, and a lot of these fad diets are dangerous for your body, they're dangerous for your heart and be blatantly honest guys, they are not helping the process. It's something for making money that these companies put together um, without probably much thought for um, the women taking them. A lot of the time, a lot of these magic slimming pills and um, some of these shake diets, and I'm not going to name names, and I'm not talking about smoothies, I'm talking about shake diets that are supposedly um, weight loss diets that, one, you need to eat. You can't sustain something by staying, staying on a shake 24-7. Um, but a lot of the time, a lot of these products have got products in them that um, are not good for the body and that the human body doesn't need. And I can guarantee you that a lot of the time, and I have seen this on um, on a status before, and I've kind of gone with someone who, who sells it, who was promoting that they knew what they were talking about. Quite often, especially with some of these shake diets, if you ask the representative, what's in them, they say they do, but if you go and ask them about the individual ingredients, a lot of the time they can't tell you. What does that tell you? That obviously it's because it's a money making scheme. Um, if you're buying a product off someone like that, you need to know absolutely everything about it and make sure it's safe for your body. And um, if a representative can't tell you what the, the meaning of each ingredient is, they shouldn't be selling it in my opinion. Something I never do with any of my clients is ever everything pops up on my phone when I start, <laughs> start a video, um, is ever give them anything. One, I wouldn't take myself in that I know is safe, and two, that the human body should have. Um, so just as a tip, if you're going to do these things, ask first of all. And as I say, I have spoke to someone on, online before who was promoting it, and there was a few ingredients on it that I knew weren't necessarily, they were almost artificial and not great for the human body. And when I questioned the representative, she couldn't answer me because she didn't know. And to, in my opinion, that's really irresponsible. Can you hear lost in the background? Yeah, I see ya. Remember you said you are going to be quiet? Um, and I get really passionate. The other thing is a lot of these dietary pills, teas, etc. Um, that supposedly are going to make you, you burn faster aren't necessarily going to do that and also they can be really high in caffeine which is not good for you. You've got to be careful with some of these things. They put a stress on your body, they can put a stress on your heart. A great example is um, sometimes when you take them you start to feel really funky and your heart rate might start to race. What does that tell you? That It's a drug that you shouldn't be putting into your body. The best thing you can do to lose weight is be consistent, stay clean and be on a normal diet. Um, a diet in which the human body is supposed to intake. So I'm not talking about processed crap. I get that sometimes processed crap is hard to get rid of, but stop looking for this magic pill or this magic shake because it's a, the best way to look at it is you're, you're basically treating your body badly by taking these things take care of your body and eat clean and eat proper food and I'm not saying you can't go and have treats because I have treats but it's everything in moderation um, I would never ever take any of these things and I'm not saying when I was a teenager that I didn't try these things and now when I look back and call oh my god and I remember side effects and things I had on them as a teenager and um, I get so passionate because I was young and I thought it was going to work and I had no idea of the dangers in some of these dietary pills and um and now as, as an adult and as a coach and someone who's, who's got a large knowledge in nutrition, I get so, so passionate when someone says to me, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Because straight away I'm like, just go and be consistent. Losing weight, it doesn't happen overnight. You don't gain weight overnight, you gain weight over a period of time. So when you need to reverse it, yeah, you're going to have to work hard. And yeah, sometimes it's not going to go as fast as you want. But please listen to me when I say that all these dietary pills, these dietary shakes, and I'm not talking about protein shakes and, and natural um, things that, you know, um, most fitness coaches, etc. take. I'm talking about these ones that are promoted as, you know, diet weight loss shakes, that that's all you take kind of thing. Um, always check the ingredients but all of these things they're not a magic formula they've been provided yeah because it's a great market um, 
it's a, you know the losing weight market's a, a, a great market for these companies because they can make a lot of money because people are vulnerable and people want something that's going to be quick and fast and actually you'd be far better spending your money on a gym membership and a decent nutrition program and taking your time um, but as I say, I'm not going to. I'm not going to mention any of them. You can you can PM me. But yeah, Jess, that's probably one of the ones that I'm. I'm Hello. Uh, I could be talking about. Um, but I'm not going to go into the details because <coughs> I haven't haven't got them in front of me. <coughs> yeah, we we don't take diet pills, do we? No. What do we eat? Proper food. What kind of proper what, food? What are diets? They're not good for you. What are they? Yeah, we don't need to be on a diet, do we? But what are they? No, I tell you, they are. You're gonna go play. Um, but I wanted to get this video up because it's something I've came across um, a couple of times recently with, with girls that I, <laughs> Jessie's high loss in, um, with a couple of girls that I work with and um, and I've been honest with them and said, listen, just keep doing what you're doing. I get it. I get that. You, you get to that point where you're like, God, what can I do? Speed this up. But honestly, the best bit of advice I can give you is stay consistent with what you're doing. Get on a clean diet and keep away from all these, I'm going to swear, what? shitty fake fake fad diets because they're full of rubbish they're not good for your body take care of your body and that's the best way i can get you to look at it is actually take care of your body rather than putting something else in it that's not doing it any good and giving yourself false hope um you know because yeah you might see a bit of difference to begin with because sometimes uh, some of these kind of suppress your hunger a little bit because of the fact the caffeine etc is um, loaded in it um i know people that have had them in the past and like god i'm super charged and i'm like well that that's why um and it's like, you know, what I always say with, with drinking coffee, it's everything in moderation. Um, but yeah, hopefully this has helped you a little bit. Always get advice of someone who really knows about nutrition before you take anything like this. And especially if you're going to go and buy in any of these shake blooming programs or pill programs or tea programs. Find out what's in them first of all and ask that representative. To explain to you what each ingredient is because that's one thing for sure as a coach I would never I, I can answer every question to my girls as to why I'm asking them to eat certain types of food why at that specific time of day and um, even with the supplements why we're taking those supplements and um, if I've got guys or maybe you know girls that are maybe um struggling with certain things with energy and stuff I will make sure that whatever I recommend they take I know thoroughly about it and that it's completely natural and that's the point I'm trying to get across to you guys keep it natural you're in this skin forever um take care of it while you've got it and stop trying to put um extra things in that you one you're wasting your money on and two sometimes can be a bit of a danger to your body I know you're thinking oh why are they allowed to sell it but to be blatantly honest um it's one of those things unless you research them you're not really aware of the um the full impact of of, of how they're going to affect you so please be careful when when you're do, you're doing stuff like I said I don't want to come here and man um, man bash <laughs> and bash you know certain diets and stuff because that's not fair it's not my place to do that but it's certainly um is, as a coach my place to say listen ladies and guys do it properly get on a proper clean diet and get off of all these Bye. stupid magic pills and, and drinks and stuff and um, if you're going to take a shake take a protein shake after you weight train something that's actually going to benefit your body and that's not going to do you any harm um and certainly with the, the ladies i work with i highly um I'm highly against these things and I tell them that flat out and sometimes I have said to women in the past if you need to take it go and work on another program that's not with me because um, it could counteract with what, we're, what we're, you're doing with me and um, then it, I suppose it takes away from the fact it's not the results you're getting from my program um, but um, the point in it is just to say to women listen stop um, stop listening to these companies and research. Research is the best kind of thing you can do when it come, comes to these things. If you know someone who's a fit pro, not even so much just a fit pro, someone who's got um, really in-depth knowledge of nutrition um, because that that's the difference. Um, like I say, sometimes these representatives are just normal people that are doing it as an extra. Um, I have no clue what they're selling and that is like me selling my programs and my nutrition programs to my ladies and not having actually a scooby-doo about what I'm doing just doing it for the money which in my opinion is wrong um, although we've all got jobs and of course we all have to make money 
um, there's always got to be an ethical side of it as well and um, I sometimes think some of these companies are a bit unethical um, so hopefully this has been insightful for you any questions um, especially if it's about a specific thing um, as I say I don't want to uh, bash companies or online because that's that's bad but if you've got a question feel free to ask me privately and I can certainly answer it and give you my opinion on on that product because that's my job um, I'm recommending stuff to, to, to women every day but if you're a guy out there the same thing applies to you be careful with, with what you're taking um, keep it natural guys it's the best piece of advice I can give you keep it natural look after your body those results will come just don't look for that shiny object um, and spend more money on something that really is something that's not really going to do anything or isn't great for you and something something I want to add in as well with some of these shake diets your body needs food your body's like a furnace it needs it needs fill people um, always think oh she's a coach she'll eat next to nothing and are actually really surprised to see actually how much I do eat in a day you can't sustain being on shakes all the time. It's not good for you. The human body is designed to have food going into it and decent food, not uh, anything that's, that's uh, you know, one practically um, artificial and shouldn't be going in your body at all or two, anything that's going to affect your hormones and whatever else. So hopefully it's been insightful. Um, I wanted to get it up there. I need to go... Um, wash because I can feel the sweat running down my face from my run. Um, have an absolute fab day. Any questions um, just let me know and let me know what you think of this video below it. I won't be offended. Speak to you soon. Bye bye. Lawson you going to say bye? Bye.